Hey, it's Chuck Wilson, Bootlegger Guitar Tuesday. Just got back from Austin from the uh, Streets of America Rolling Stones concert. What a show. We hung out four nights in Austin and uh, <clears throat> down in the Dirty Sixth and uh, caught a lot of music, caught some really cool rock and blues dudes. Um, not too much country, mostly uh, rock. And then, of course, on uh, Saturday night, the Stones. Um, anybody going to the Circuit of America in the future to see a concert, be, be, be aware that it took us uh, a 45-minute ride, which was three hours to get there. So uh, a lot for the time. Um, we uh, Second time I've been able to see the Stones, like, center up front, um, you know, right in front of the band. I caught Keith Richards with his other bands, the Expensive Winos, I can't think of the other name right now, this band with Stanley Clark, uh, New Barbarians. So I've, I've, over 20, 30 years, I've watched Keith Richards in person play guitar. And I came away with some new things from the show. Um, so I'll let you know about that. But this is the uh, original HH bootlegger spade. A beautiful guitar going out to Brian in Springfield. Thank you, Brian. This is your QC quality check of your guitar. And it uh, is perfect. Playing it through my Bootlegger Blues 1530 amp. Getting into like the Keith, um, he does a lot of... So he just, at times, uses a slide you know, coming off a chord, and of course he's probably playing in that G tuning that he likes. Um, but it's an interesting sound, because like if Ron Woods is playing slide guitar, and, and Richards is coming between chords and doing slide sounds on his guitar, it kind of creates that open, sloppy Rolling Stone sound on some of their, uh, I guess maybe quieter sounds. Richards is doing in Midnight Rambler. He's in charge of the band. Forget the drummer, forget the bass player. It's all Keith Richards laying down that beat, and they better be aware of what he's doing because he's mixing that with Jagger and Jagger's vocals and his kind of theatrical uh, nature. <clears throat> so it's really cool to watch him because you know there's a beat going, but it's still stop. So it's really interesting to watch the guitar player leading the band and then the band following suit. And, uh, and you know, Richards and Jagger know each other so well that they're playing back and forth the vocals. So Richards is still a, a master rhythm player at his older age. Unfortunately, when it comes to doing some of the finger things, man, if you, if you see his fingers, they're just gnarly. So some of the stuff that's like... this, These fingers aren't working well. So you get a lot of clanks. His, his pinky just isn't... It, it just doesn't work well for him anymore. And like something like Street Fighting Man, the lick is something like... He just... Unfortunately, his hands are so messed up that there's a lot of mistakes and you hear the clanks coming through the PA system and uh, he just doesn't physically have the, the dexterity, at least the night we saw him, um, to really be able to play leads and like Sympathy for the Devil, some of the stuff that he does, some of them doesn't have the dexterity. sad to see that um, you, you, you just pick it up because you're watching it and you're hearing it <clears throat> you just can't help but hear it <clears throat> I mean if you're just paying attention to the big sound you're not going to hear it but my wife who doesn't do that not a guitar player she looked at me and said is he missing stuff I go yeah he is unfortunately 
Uh, another technique of his is like on Midnight Rambler. It's a different tuning than like the standard tuning that he uses, but. He'll be using an open hand, no pick, which he almost always uses the pick unless he's playing blues stuff, right? And the reason is. Because the Midnight Rambler cuts, right? It's not. It's not that, it's, and then Jagger, bump, you know, Jagger goes off. So he's, he's open and playing, and then cutting it with his palm. And then at times he'll be like, I thought it was cool. I mean, he, he he's using, his a timing mechanism. Really interesting, you know, to watch a phenomenal proposition up close and, and just to see, you know, his tricks and what he does. Ron Wood's still amazing. The band kicked ass. Jagger is amazingly Jagger at his age. Um, but Keith Richards is definitely um, struggling. But rhythmically and controlling a band and everything that he does, it's, it's, it's incredible. He's amazing. It's just sad to hear him struggle on. Like I do. It's kind of sad to see him struggle um, with his, this, his fingers are just arthritically so bad. Great show. Um, hope that made sense. A couple, couple tricks from Keith Richards that I saw up live in front. And uh, I had an opportunity once to meet the Rolling Stones and I missed it. My, my bad, my fault. I had an opportunity to meet Ringo Starr and I missed it. My bad, my fault. <laughs> I missed all kinds of opportunities. Um, so this is going out today. Thank you, brother.